Today on Adventures with Peps, we are painting Judge Mortis of the Dark Judges. Now, this is an older Mongoose Games one. I'm still waiting for Warlord Games to produce all the Dark Judges, like Judge Death. But for now, we'll have to make do with some Mongoose ones. So who is Judge Mortis? He is one of the four Dark Judges alongside Death, Fear and Fire. Last week we painted Fear. Uh, Death has already appeared on the channel somewhere, though I am going to paint him in the mongoose style as well. But they came from a parallel world called Dead World and was transformed into this horrific form by the two sisters of death. His power is obviously decay and anything he touches rots away. Now, the model doesn't really show it, but he is tall among regular humans. His body is composed of rotten bones. He has a sheep's skull as a head and his fingers are long and twisted. He also weirdly has a short tail, and his clothing is that of a tattered judge's uniform. Instead of the traditional judge eagle, he has the skeletal bat and a rack of bones over his right shoulder. His badge resembles a horse skull, and his belt buckle has a winged human skull. Among the dark judges, only Mortis and Fire lack actual helmets of their own. Mortis was one of the more warped of the four, amusing himself with grotesque experiments with the dead and manipulation of corpses. During missions he is usually all business. He has no issue with murdering children, as we did see in one of the comics. Um, I'm pretty sure Mortis was a tech judge. Like, he might have even been med, but he was definitely science, based on their planet. That's why he loves experimenting and coming up with weird ways of killing people. Um, after the fall of Dead World, Mortis fell into depression, staring at the same stopped watch and lamenting the lack of everything to do. He grew a corpse garden and worked on various projects like making wine out of the ground up remains of the dead. Um, when aliens finally landed on the planet, Mortis attempted to gain their trust after learning of the whole other worlds he could kill. He ended up gleefully slaughtering the aliens and is now waiting happily for a chance to get off world next time more aliens come to visit. So let's get into the painting. Right here we go. So I've got the model primed black, heavy dry brushing of some white base coat it's giving me some deep dark shadows in the recesses and we're going to kick things off with the grave lord gray so this model has three colors in total if you ignore the white and the black primers this is going to be the main part and it's going to be his uniform going to make sure we get a good coverage everywhere i'm going to try and stay neat and tidy wherever i don't need to have this dark gray this is going to be quick and dirty. I think in total this video section took 12 minutes from start to finish. I am lucky the weather is quite warm here. It's not too humid at the moment so the paint is just drying quick which is really helpful on a project like this. But yeah, just making sure I get good coverage on all the grey uniform. Then we jump into the Orc Skin Green. I love this colour. It's bright, it's bold, it's so comic booky. I'm going to use it on his knee pads and his belt patches. Hopefully you're not hearing my fan in the background. It's pretty warm here, which has been good for the paint. As I mentioned, it's drying a lot quicker. But I am having to have a fan on me at nearly all times. <laughs> but yeah, nice heavy layer on. I want this to have good solid coverage. Get these tiny little straps and nooks on the back, and then we'll get the pouches as well. No need to watch all this, so I will catch you in a minute. Now the rest of him is just bone, which makes it so easy. I just grab the pallid bone colour. We are going to slap it on feet, hands, head, uh, the bat, and his weird shoulder guard. Once again, nice and heavy. I want the recesses to get a good shade going. This stuff highlights up really well. And as always, I'm only going to show you my quick and dirty tabletop ready version. I will probably give him a highlight. 
pick out some details with some highlighting, especially the bone. But I just want to prove that you could spend 11 minutes on a model and get something really good by the end of that time. It's definitely not going to win awards, as I've said many times, I'm not that type of painter, but I do love having painted models on the table. And if I can spend 11 minutes and knock another model off my list, perfect. Especially these that aren't really going to get used in the game. They don't have rules yet for them. And I assume when Warlord games do have rules, they're going to bring out the models as well. So for me, I am creating these with the RPG rules, because that's most likely where they'll get used. And I'm claiming they're cosplayers pretending to be the Dark Judges. So they're pretty weak in-game, they'll have like civilian stats. If you go to the community posts you'll see I've done fear already. They're not going to be scary, they're armed with glue sticks and hot glue guns. But I just thought it'd be funny to do that and I'm contemplating maybe basing them all together like the civilians get placed in a Judge Shred for Warlord games. It's usually like three to five models, so four would be fine. I could make like a weird busker setup where the four of them are on a stage maybe or they've got their little busking hat and they're claiming money. Just add a little bit of comedy to the civilian tokens that you have, especially with block wars. There's a lot of civilians and not a lot of civilian models. So these old mongoose ones really work well for me. But I think this is probably a good point to say like, comment, subscribe. About 30% of you watching are actually subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much, I'm loving that. But I would love it even more if we could get a few more people on board, giving likes, dropping a comment. I absolutely adore it when I get a comment. Say even if it's just hi, say hi in the comments. Okay, I think we're on the last part of the bone. Just a few little touch-ups to make sure I've covered everything. As you can see, the belt pouches hadn't been done. This stage, I still wasn't fully decided if I was going bone or green. I decided to go green. So let's just finish this up first. There we go. And then we'll do the green and we'll come back in a minute. With the green now on, we're pretty much there. Like I said, not winning any awards, but we now have a painted model. Let me take some pictures and we'll be right back. <laughs> 